Hey, welcome back to Legends of Skyward Sword. This is another addition to our Let's Play. In this episode, we're going to be exploring the first Silent Realm. But with us, we uh, have a special guest co-commentator, uh, Mandy from Zella Wiki. Say hello. Hey, what's up? Um, as I said, Mandy's with us, uh, Wiki. She's one of the administrators over there. Probably the coolest admin ever. Um, don't forget, uh, ZellaWiki.org has all of your, uh, Legend of Zelda needs, especially if you like it in Wiki format. Um, but as I was saying, this video is part of the Silent Realm. If you're not familiar with this, uh, section, it's an era where Link has to prove his worth to the goddesses, and to do so, he loses all of his weapons. This is actually kind of like you're doing this in possession of his soul, not his physical being. <laughs> so you have no weapons or anything, and you have to collect tears of light, kind of like Twilight Princess. But there's a catch. There are all these guardians, and if they hit you, then you have to restart the entire thing. Wow, that sounds very difficult. Yeah. There's also a little way to make this easier. Um, as you can see, there's these golden things that we're picking up. Those are the tears. And um, what's nice about them is when you pick them up, or those are not the tears, those, the green ones are the tears, the golden ones shine uh, a light beacon from the tears so you can locate them. Sorry for that uh, misspeak there, but what you have to do is grab those, that makes it easier finding them, otherwise you'll be running around and we were probably wondering why aren't these guys chasing after me but if you grab one of the tiers of light then they actually freeze for 90 seconds and they will not chase after you unless you alert one of the sentries which walk around with the um, lanterns and find you or if you fall into the water which will actually um, activate all of the guardians as well now as you saw I had a horrible time tight roping I don't like the tight rope walking this game how are the controls but in this game? Controls are mostly good. Um, there's only a few areas that I've had problems with. Um, tight roping is one of them. Even if like he'll be like falling to the left, so I'll turn my controller all the way to the right, and he'll still fall off to the left. And I don't quite understand. But yeah, one of the biggest oh well. complaints that I because I have yet to play the game yet, but one of the biggest complaints that I have heard about the game is the controls, which my side on that. They're, they're actually really, really nicely done, and I was worried. But as you saw there, I jumped and I landed right into that uh, sentry's uh, light path, which I'm um, doing so alerted everybody in the area. So they began chasing me, but thankfully there was a tear right there, and I just alerted him again. So just grab a tear and everything restores itself to normal, and you don't have to be chased, which is awesome. Um, now this is... This part makes me wonder if there's any connection to Twilight Princess with the Tears of Light. Yeah, that seems definitely like a reference to me anyhow, I don't know. Is... Because in um, Twilight Princess, it was the Tears of Light was to restore the light to the area because it was put in Twilight. Now that's the water that uh, activates um, the sentries, or not the sentries, the guardians to chase you. Um, and they're fast, they're about as fast as you, if not faster. And one hit from them, and you're completely done. You have to restart. So make sure you don't alert them if at all possible. But with Twilight Princess. I mean, this area kind of looks like Twilight. Maybe there's some connection to the area that Link has taken to the Silent Realm and the Twilight Realm, though I highly doubt it. I'm just speaking out my ass. Speculating. So, <laughs> yeah. It does. It does. Zelda actually, it kind of reminds me. Sorry, it kind of reminds me of the Farron Woods after the twilight, whenever the purple fog was all over it. Yeah, know. well, we are here in Farron Woods. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, that probably might be the same Farron Woods. Maybe this is where um, Horden Village is one of these days. <laughs> Perhaps. Um, looks like I got one more left, and you can also look at your map and kind of see where they are. Um, I'm nowhere close to it. It's actually right where we started off, and I just didn't realize where it was. I had to run all the way back. Um, now, the hardest part about this is just going to be getting back to it, because um, I have a timer, and I have to find it and locate it without alerting. But if I get caught and alert some of these uh, guardians, then it's going to be a hell of a run. <laughs> 
So, <laughs> um, and what sucks is that um, even after you get the last tier, it's not over. If you get caught, you because you have to return to the portal to exit. And actually, in my very last uh, Silent Realm section, way later in the game, I got caught right after getting the last tier. I made a mad dash for the exit, and I was thankfully lucky enough to make it through. <laughs> nice. So, I look forward to uploading that one. So we have this uh, last one. Now we can return right there. It's actually right by the exit, which makes things easy for us. So, um, with this, um, Link's going to be rewarded with a new item. Boop -boo -doo. We only got about maybe 30 seconds left in this video, but... Alright. And what do we get? Fruit. We get fruit. <laughs> no, it's a water dragon scale which allows us to swim and do some cool tricks in the water. So that's pretty much the end of this video. I'm going to let Mandy here say bye and promote Zella Wiki or anything she wants to promote. Alrighty, well, if you have any questions about uh, the Legend of Zelda series, you can check out ZeldaWiki.org because it's cool. Anyways, that's about it. Alright, mwah, everybody. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you think I did a good job. Bye. Mwah.